ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்திய நரம் செய்வ நரோத்தமும் தேவிம் சரஸ்வதிம் வியாசம் ததோஜயம் முதீரையே நஷ்டப்பிரயேஷு அபத்ரேஷு நித்தியம் பாகவத சேவையா பகவதி உத்தம ஸ்லோகே பக்திர்பவதி நைஷ்டிகி ஓம் அஜானதிமிரஞ்சய ஜானாஞ்சனலாக்கியே சக்ஷுருண் மிலிதம் என தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீ குருவே நம ஸ்ரீ சைத்தன்ய மனோபிஷ்டம் ஸ்தாபிதம் என பூதலே ஸ்வயம் ரூபகதாமையம் ததாத்தி சோபதாந்திகம் வந்தேகம் ஸ்ரீ குரு ஸ்ரீயுத பதகமலம் ஸ்ரீ குருன் வைஷ்ணவாம் ஸ்ரீ ரூபம் சாகர் ஜாத்தம் சகன ரகுநாத்தான் விதம் தாம் சஜீவம் சாத்வைத்தம் சாவதூத்தம் பரிஜன சைத்தம் கிருஷ்ண சைத்தன்ய தேவம் ஸ்ரீராதா கிருஷ்ண பாதான் சகன லலிதா ஸ்ரீ விஷாகான் விதம் ஏ கிருஷ்ணா கருணா சிந்து தினபந்தோ ஜகத்பதே கோபேஷ கோபிகா காந்த ராதா காந்த நமோஸ்துதே தப்த காஞ்சன கௌராங்கி ராதே பிருந்தாவனேஸ்வரி வருஷபானு சுதே தேவி பிரணமாமி ஹரி பிரியே வாஞ்சா கல்பதிருபஸ் கிருபா சிந்துபேவச பதிதானம் பாவனேபியோ வைஷ்ணவேபியோ நமோ நம நம ஓம் விஷ்ணு பாதாய கிருஷ்ண பிரேஷ்டாய பூதலே ஸ்ரீமதே பக்தி விகாச சுவாமினி நாமினே நம ஓம் விஷ்ணு பாதாய கிருஷ்ண பிரேஷ்டாய பூதலே ஸ்ரீமதே பக்தி வேதாந்த சுவாமினி நாமினே நமஸ்தே சாரஸ்வதே தேவே கௌரவாணி பிரச்சாரிணே நிர்விசேஷ சுன்யவாதி பாச்சாத்திய தேசதாரிணே ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ண சைத்தன்ய பிரபு நித்தியானந்த ஸ்ரீ அத்வைத கதாதர சிவாஷாதி கௌரபக்த பிருந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ண ஹரே கிருஷ்ண 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 ஹரே 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 ராம ஹரே ராம 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 ஹரே ஹரே பூதைர்மகத்பீர்யமாம் புரோ விபோ நிர்மாயேதமூஷ புருஷ புங்கே குணா சோடச சோடசாத்மக சோ அலங்கிருஷிஷ்ட பகவான் வச்சாம் ஷிமே அகில ஜகத் குரோ வச்சன செமார் அலங்கிருத கொரிபோ கதா மத துமார் தபே கிருபா ஹைலே மோரா கதா சுத்த ஹபே சுனியா சபார சோக துக்க ஜாச்சி பே நாம சிரேஷ்டம் மனுமபி சச்சி புத்திரம் அத்திர சுரூபம் ரூபம் தசியாகிரஜம் உருப்பிரிம் மாதிரும் கோஷ்டவதிம் ராதா குண்டம் கிரிவரம் அஹோராதிகா மாதவாசம் பிராப்தோ எஸ் பிரதிவ ஸ்ரீகுரும் தம் நட்டோஸ்மி ஸ்ரீல பிரபாத் கீ ஜாய் சோ டுடே த டாபிக் எஸ் ஹவு வி கேன் டேக் என்மிட் எனி என்வி என்வி ஃப்ரம் அவர் ஹார்ட் வாட் இஸ் திஸ் என்வி ஷார்ட்லி டிஃபனிங் டிஃபைனிங் இட் envy means jealous this jealous like if we don't have something somebody else is having then a, a kind of a envy comes out or a kind of feeling comes out oh they are having i am not having so we are we are hating that person or we create some you know enmity with that person a negative emotion creates in the heart uh, in the mind oh they are having i am not having oh they are good i am not good oh they are improving i am not improving okay so now we are here how many devotees five devotees including me six <clears throat> so we will now going to have a interaction interactive section in the sense we will identify uh the situations where envy arises okay envy arises so i will now reveal my heart uh, when at what situation i get envy let me check about myself when i do get like for example i am working hard very much but somebody is not working hard but i don't get the reward but they get the reward that time i get irritation and i am very envious on, on of them like this you have to tell me the situation or if you can even personally tell these are the things which i get 
then we if you tell it will be nice now first we will identify the situations where we get envy who is ready yeah who is going to tell i told where i get envy nakshatra uh, yes 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 beta like uh, if someone else score good marks than me and uh, uh, and they are being appreciated by the teacher or uh, anyone then i feel little very of them if somebody because you are a student and so if somebody gets more higher score than you then you get envy correct okay nakshatra nakshatra told yeah. now who is ready next somebody can note note down all these points nakshatra you can note down yes ma'am yeah. yeah now jaya jay narsimha you want to share at what situation you get envy envy of others no mother ji not yet please uh, continue after some one i will yeah yeah because... and, and you can get an idea right no problem yeah. ruchira you come out ruchira kamila tana mata ji yeah. uh, i'll have to think mata ji it's like uh, the same uh, thing you said like in my life also this happens like you are doing all the hard work and someone comes in with sweet being a sweet speaker and impressing like outwardly then i feel i'm yes towards yeah. that person yeah. and it was happening in my family like some non devotee people they were doing such things and i felt bad yeah so a negative emotion comes they are envious they, we are good yeah, and yeah. they are bad but you know they are getting all the rewards and i am not getting i am a devotee like that yeah things like that come and also with non devotees we have some negative feelings like when they uh, don't regard uh, your like uh, this bhakti process and kind of they don't respect things like you are doing then also i feel like envious like it has been very good very good very nice kamila pranamadeshi when um i think when if i'm working hard or not necessarily hard but i'm just doing household chores and then i see that some family members might not be working hard they yeah. just see them enjoying yeah. so i become i don't know if envious but definitely like upset because i think it's not fair that you know they could help me yeah, yeah. you know they are having this better situation like it is, yeah you know, yeah it is envy and anger You know, yes yes but i work like yeah. as yeah correct very nice mm -hmm. very nice archana mata ji anjana anjana where are you are you there in the class no answer who else Archana, Anjana, both of them are there or not there in the class? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Yes, please. See, Mata ji, uh, friends with same education are doing good, so sometimes I think I get envy with them. Yeah. You get envy. Uh, now, Anjana. Anjana. Anjana, where are you? Okay, Sujana. Sujana. Oh, yeah. Hare Krishna, Mother Ji, Danvat Pranam. Danvat Pranam. Actually, we are discussing uh, the situations in which we are getting envy. Everyone described. Like I, I said that when I work hard, and somebody else is not working hard, but i don't get i don't get the reward but they got the reward then this creates a envy envy in my heart 
same a uh, little bit same with me as well mata ji when uh, i did work hard and uh, the credit goes to others that time i feel uh, means low uh, i feel low and uh, i think motivation is very important for all mm -hmm. so uh, if uh, mm -hmm. it's okay if you uh, give credit to others but same time you uh, have to you know uh, means uh, i just want to say ki yes uh, when now now we are yeah some injustice is happening in this world that i agree yeah. justice yeah yeah but uh, we here this session is about in this world in this uh, life we i where i i do get envy i have to check that there are different uh, uh, different situations where we get uh, envious of others especially with the ladies if somebody is more beautiful than us we get envy if somebody has better things than us we get envy as we all discussed if i work and they sit and eat then we get envy and anger also along with that so such kind of and for me if somebody uh, yeah for everyone uh, the situations are like this if somebody is going going ahead like nakshatra said somebody is taking more marks somebody is more smarter one more girl told me that you know uh, okay no problem no problem um, how you joined that is more important um so, so situations you have to find out this is way, this should be like an introspective introspective class like you know this is this introspection we have to apply on us okay so devotees told different situations uh, where do you get envy do you know where the envy started any one of you where the envy started what is envy and where the envy started anyone Uh, when we want to be greater than others, it starts, Mataji. I, I don't know correctly, Mataji, but... The envy originally started when we were in spiritual world. Spiritual world and we wanted to enjoy ourselves. We became envious of Krishna. That is the beginning of envy. All the living entities, we wanted to... We, we became envious of Krishna, thinking that you are enjoying... I am not enjoying. So this is the origin of envy. But uh, this envy is a, like, you know, many devotees, we have reasonable envy. Like uh, when we work hard and they don't work. But envy is envy. So now we, we are going to analyze how to identify. First thing, how to identify it. And how to eliminate it. First thing is, do we have envy or not? Or as if I am acting, I don't have envy. So this envy is an, a negative emotion. How we are going to handle the envy uh, and how we are understanding how to overcome this envy that is going to be the today's class. Okay, nakshatra, so you can uh, present the situation. So when when somebody is, you can briefly tell where and all we are getting envy. Yes, ma'am. Yes. If, uh, if we are working hard and others are getting rewards mm. and, uh, and credit is taken by others, even if we work hard mm. and... Uh, 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 between friends, Mataji. Ah, between friends. And even and uh, scoring more marks, mm -hmm. as well as uh, if we are not obtaining the results, but others are obtaining the results of activities. Activity. So these are the situations uh, uh, when we are deprived of something, but somebody is getting like somebody is rich, somebody is poor, somebody is beautiful, somebody is not beautiful. And somebody is healthy, somebody is unhealthy. So such uh, um, 
different situations create envy in the mind. Or somebody is enjoying because of me. And, uh, but you know, I get envy. Oh, they became advanced by taking my help. But I am like this only, but they are advanced. Like maybe in a job or maybe in a, in some education or something like that. Oh, they, they took my help and they are enjoying, but I am not, I am here. So such kind of uh, envious thinking comes in our mind. It is, the origin is from, from the spiritual world. That's why we are eliminated from spiritual world. Because of this envy, we are eliminated from spiritual world. There we thought how Krishna is enjoying and we are not and I want to enjoy independent of Krishna. So that put us in the material world. Krishna said, okay, you try your luck in the material world, go. So now, first thing we have to do with our senses, do I have envy? I have seen Sisters, same kind of classmates. When we are with somebody who are like us, like neighbors, classmates, brothers, they brothers they fight a lot. Brothers for property, uh, or friends for some, some, something. So such situations are very much prevalent in the world, right? Lots of such situations. So, uh, like, uh, two girls are there. I have seen in my life, uh, sisters. One is very envious. So, when we give, when we give something to them, the envious one takes the, like, for example, I'm getting, a, getting two clothes, similar kind of, same color, same design. Okay, same price, same everything, but different color. Okay, green for one, red for one. But the envious one will say, you know, I want that also to me only. Once she chooses uh, the red one, then she says, oh, she's having blue, no? Let me exchange. This kind of attitude. This we see many, uh, in, uh, many times in the world. Okay, and then if somebody in the neighbor... They are having uh, some beautiful, uh, uh, some car, some vehicle or something. Or we also should get it. So the other neighbor will fight, try and try to get it like that. Um, so I Like that, uh, lots of situations are happening in the material world. Um, when I, I was the, our family hailed from a village background. But we settled in a town and then uh, all other relatives were in the village. Uh, so there, uh, they, my father educated, I am the little elder girl in the whole relative circle. So I, my father educated me in the post-graduation. So all the relatives followed the same thing. Oh. She went into post-graduation. But in village, they get married early. But they bro broke the rule because I studied a master's. So they all, all, all of the many girls, they entered into post-graduation. They went for, like, you know, they, yeah, because the, she got education. So we will also follow her. So everybody went for, went for post-graduation. So this is a kind of envy only. So... Among relatives we see, among brothers we see, among uh, in within our heart also we have envy. So first thing we are doing today is to identify the situations and identify how much I am envious. How much I am envious and this envy, how much it is dominating me. How much I react, how much I get anger, how much I get frustration. These things, it is a homework only. You find out, you find out uh, how how much point, how much uh, uh, 
degree you can say oh, this much degree i am envious this much degree i am envious where i am getting envy so these situations should be introspective you have to think and then analyze okay oh, this this is where i am envious sometimes i have seen uh, in the close relations that's what i am said i said uh, not relatives is the outer family but uh, among brothers among sisters among close friends the envy is there so first we we saw that situa different situations which uh, have uh, which is which is bringing envy in our mind how to solve it now next we identifying is the first step first of all we should accept that we have envy that's why we are in the material world so the first and foremost method to remove envy from our heart is chanting the holy name of the lord hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 hari along with that chanting i have seen some uh, sisters and friends they i have this uh, enviousness in the chanting also one sister is asking have you done your chanting the other says yes i have done oh you have chanted so in chanting also envy comes oh you have completed chanting i didn't complete chanting oh you have attended bhagavatam class i haven't attended the bhagavatam class <laughs> like that so even in close relations uh, we have this envy i have seen one couple um i saying the husband was working very hard the wife was free in the house so she quickly cooked for him nicely and then she went for ratyatra one ratyatra in the local temple and another ratyatra in the outside so she she took the she was taking the permission from the husband can i go can i go then he said i didn't attend one ratyatra you are going to attend two two ratyatra this is envy but i have seen some husbands they say i am not able to attend you attend please go please go this is non envy envy and non enviousness at least from our family one should go no you go please go please go this is in the right attitude right i am not able to attend you please attend at least one in the family is attending ratyatra so we will get the benefit i will support you i will finance you you go this is another person now we understand so when if we are envious in our heart it is a negative feeling and how krishna will be very uncomfortable there sitting krishna is there in everyone's heart as shirodaksha vishnu and uh, he wants to be here and he wants to guide us but but we, if we have negative feelings negativity in our heart then it creates a very bad situation very very bad situation and a chain reaction will happen so from the root if we remove these things that will be very helpful for us so sometimes we may not be able to identify but somebody else will identify because uh, sometimes we, we normally we don't find fault with us no this is the problem with us if somebody finds out and tell us we don't accept also oh i am not like that you are misunderstood you misunderstood me i am not like that how do you know like that we question even with the guru even with senior devotees we have this arguments so that's why i gave you this homework this is homework for you before going to sleep you from morning till evening till night you think about yourself and you 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 understand that how many times the envious feeling came into my mind how many times i have this like if i see somebody very rich and i get envy if some if i see something better than me better uh, better house better car better clothing uh, better knowledge 
so i get envy i get oh they are great i am not so such feelings comes so how how we can cut off such feelings first thing is krishna will not krishna will not agree to come to into my heart if i if i have these things krishna you can understand krishna or you can study bhagavatam only when your heart is pure krishna will reveal himself only when your heart is pure and you are non envious then only krishna advancement in krishna consciousness is possible otherwise it is not possible if you understand this then you know you will be alert okay to please krishna i have to eliminate this enemy enemy in my heart i have to take the enemy from my heart and throw out okay uh, next week i am going to narrate a big story about him envy that next week this week we will work on it how we can remove the envy from our heart when we understand krishna consciousness when we understand the law of karma then we we can easily remove this uh, envy from our heart generally when we today's class we analyzed generally when we don't have when somebody is having then we get the envy correct when we don't have when somebody is having we get the envy so how come we put the same energy and they also put the same energy they are awarded we are not awarded we work hard they sit and eat they enjoy life we don't enjoy life why what is the reason now can you guess the reasons for this yeah this is the situation right we have identified the situations when we don't have they are having when we work hard they they don't work hard but they sit and enjoy so a kind of enviousness comes arises in our heart so what is the reason for this what is it is the karma like very good answer karma karma then ஸ்ட்ரீலிஸ்ட் they must have given something either in this life or in the previous life without that nothing is given somebody is easily enjoying some property without any work hard they don't go for job they don't, they, they easily get, get some money somewhere like for example lottery we go to office we work hard day and night but we get little bit but some some of our neighbor he somebody gave him some lots of property or easily they go and work they go and sleep in the office but they get salary all these things as jaya mata ji told it's all punya karma in present life they may be very very lazy persons they may be non devotees but they are given some material benefits by the arrangement of the providence right we don't have house but somebody is having nice house we work hard but we don't get money but somebody they sit and get the money so all these things all this whatever it is the nothing in this material world is given freely they might have given the same effort in the previous life so they are rewarded so we should not pollute our mind by thinking that they are enjoying i am not enjoying so it is by krishna's arrangement it is by krishna's arrangement i am 
I'm I I I I get I don't get it. It is also his arrangement. So whatever he gives me, I accept it. I am always in a balanced state of mind. The balanced state of mind is very important. If not, we will collapse by seeing the world, by seeing the neighbors, by seeing our relatives. Oh, how great they are, how great they are. No, no, no. Be satisfied with your situation. Krishna is definitely taking care of each and every, every individual. So the reason that I am not getting, they are getting is their Punya Karma. They have done work for it. Without doing anything, you cannot get anything. This is a very universal law. You work hard, you get it. Maybe not in this life, which is not visible now. Maybe not in this life, which is not visible now. So we take out the envy out by understanding this. Okay. Um, Anakshatra said, if somebody gets some very, very good marks, I get jealous. Very good mark, or which is something material in this world or spiritual also. If somebody gets quick initiation, somebody gets high marks in Bhakti Sastri, somebody like, you know, Somebody goes to Mangalarti every day, but I am not able to go. Then I am falling sick. And then I get envy. Oh, they are doing nicely. I am not doing. So what to do? If some good, good, we have to take some good lessons. Okay, they are going to Mangalarti every day. I should also try to go to Mangalarti every day by praying, by endeavoring. By keeping my health, you, you can take it as a positive motivation. See, my neighbor is going to Mangalarti every day. So I should also try. I should also try to please the Lord like that. Good things we can take, but we should put our effort rather meditating on they are advancing, they are improving. So how I can please the Supreme Lord? Change that. Change the thing. Even um, any stage envy is growing. Any stage envy is coming only. Or oh, they are now no, nicely enjoying Vrindavan. They are nicely enjoying Mayapur. <clears throat> I am not even able to go to um, Dham one time. But they are enjoying. No, I should pray now. I should beg for the mercy. If I knock the door, Krishna will open the door. I will keep on meditating on Mayapur and Vrindavan and uh, other holy places so that I can visit. I will try to improve my health so that every day I go to Mangalarti. Instead of negatively thinking about others, what I do? I change it. I will also try. I change it to please Krishna. If it is for pleasing Krishna, you should endeavor it. For example, if some neighbor is having a diamond necklace, we should achieve it or not? We should take it or not? Anjana, you are there in the class or not? Hmm. Not there in the class. Archana Mataji, if your neighbor is having a diamond necklace, what should be your mind? Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna. We should not think about that. What should be the right attitude? Uh, she is having it, it's okay. I am not having it, it's okay. Fine. I will not think about that. That should not pollute your mind. Okay, you are having very good. Nice. Some some women, they come wantonly come and say, you see, you see, we, if uh, sometimes we also ask, hey, where did you get this sari? They will not say, tell you the answer because if they, if they are also envy, right? The opposite party is also envy. If they tell where do they, where they got that, then you will also go and buy, you know? So they will not tell the shop. Or some people I have seen that they don't tell the recipe of uh, the dish they make. If you learn, 
then you will become advanced. But it is opposite in bhakti. In bhakti, the more you reveal the secrets of success, the more Krishna is pleased for you. Uh, uh, some people even, they don't uh, give you that uh, beautiful verses, uh, secret prayers and all. What I do, I give this to everyone. I will tell one, narrate one story of Ramanujacharya where there is no envy in his heart. Very beautiful situation, very beautiful Leela of Ramanujacharya. Ramanujacharya's life history is very big, but this is a very important event happened in his life. He wanted to take initiation from his spiritual master, Tirukoshti Nambi. His name is Tirukoshti Nambi. So he went to his spiritual master 17 times, all by walking only. It's a long distance. So he used to go ask for him, please give me initiation. You go, go, go. That's a big philosophy behind that, which we will take it later. So every time Ramanujacharya came out, then finally, 17th year, 17th time, he went and then asked, please, Gurudev, please give me initiation. Then the spiritual master gave him initiation by giving the name name of Narayana and he said if you chant he will go to Vaikuntha but if you tell this, reveal this mantra that mantra is Om Namo Narayana Om Namo Narayana this is the mantra uh, if you tell this mantra to others they will all go to Vaikuntha and you will go to hell so you decide if you want to give this mantra to others, keep it with you and then chant and then go, go to Vaikuntha. That's the instruction given by the spiritual master. Then Ramamcha thought, let me give this mantra to everyone. Let everyone go to Vaikuntha. Let me go. One person going to uh, hell is no problem. Let everybody go to Vaikuntha. I am only one person. If I give this mantra to everyone, they all will go to Vaikuntha and I am the one who can go to, who will go to hell. So he went to the top of the temple roof and then there he called the whole village people, please come, please come, please come. I have something very valuable to give you. Please come, please come. Everybody came. Then he said, I learned this mantra from my spiritual master. Please learn this mantra. Please chant this mantra. You all will go to Vaikuntha in this very lifetime. Please chant. Please chant. So all of them started chanting. The news went to the spiritual master. And then spiritual master really got annoyed. I gave you this mantra. After testing you, after so many years, how you can give this mantra to others? Then Ramanuja asked for Ramanujacharya asked for forgiveness and he said, Gurudev, uh, if myself going to hell is only one person, but if I reveal this mantra to so many devotees, so many people, they all will go to Vaikuntha. So that's why I, I, I didn't obey your order. Kindly forgive me. Then the spiritual master hugged him and said, you are the real devotee. You are real devotee. I am not. You are my master. I am not your master. Please, uh, you give me initiation. I will not give. Then, you know, he said, no, 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 no. Please. Uh, then uh, that uh, spiritual master's son took initiation from Ramanujacharya. So this uh, event, this Leela says as pastime of Ramanuja, Ramanujacharya tells us that Ramanujacharya was non-envious, no envy in his heart. Even if the point that I go to hell and everyone goes to uh, spiritual world, that is preferable. So that mood we had to come. If others are getting very nice, you are happy, I am very happy. So it's at be in the beginning it is very difficult. To bring that mood. Mood of Ramanujacharya is very difficult. How we can think that others go to spiritual world and I suffer in hell. 
we are not able to suffer in this normal condition, right? Alice's condition is very, very difficult. But a, a pure devotee is very bold enough to face any condition for others' sake. So Krishna appreciates such mood. Now we to work with, to start with, let us identify where we are all envious. We identify different uh, areas. Now we counsel our mind saying that that person has put his effort to achieve success. That person has done a lot of punya karma to gain such beauty, money, name, fame or whatever it is. Or that particular devotee, that particular devotee has put their effort in getting so and so recognition, so and so mercy from spiritual master. So I accept that. First accept that and I remove this from my heart. I wish all the best to my neighbors, to my brothers, to my sisters, to my devotee friends. I wish all the success. I pray for them. I, if I want something, I will pray to Krishna. Yes, oh Krishna, they are very talented. I should also become talented. I pray to Krishna. I put an effort to achieve that, whether it is material or spiritual. I put my effort sincerely. Then Krishna will also give me. I put my sincere efforts. If I want something material, okay. If I want something spiritual, I will work hard. Whenever Krishna desires, he will give me. So I remove this envy from my heart. I understand they are getting because they are qualified to get it. Externally, I feel, I see that they are not qualified, but they are getting, they are enjoying. But real reason is they are qualified. They earned their, this merit. They have their bank balance of Punya Karma. That's why they are enjoying. So let me take out all this envy from my heart. The only way I can remove the envy from my heart is chant the holy name of the Lord sincerely, very sincerely. Then we can identify. When we chant properly, then we can identify we have envy. So we have to take it from the very root level. If a plant in the, in the field is not is cut off from the plant only, then the roots are there underneath, they will grow again. This you might have seen, the grass especially is like that. You can, Even if you take from the root, the, the grass comes out. Grass and thorny plants, they don't need anything. They, they grow easily. That means the negative seeds are there inside the soil. Once the soil gets sunlight, what? And fertilizer, uh, along with the main plant, the negative seeds, the weeds, we call them as weeds. Weeds also grow. So when we cultivate bhakti plant in our heart, the envy, jealous, kama krodha lobha moga madha macharyam, the six bad qualities, they also grow. We want to grow the bhakti plant. But along with that, the seeds are there within our hearts because we have forgotten Krishna for lakhs and lakhs and millions and millions of lifetimes. Generally, we say that 84 lakh species we have crossed. But we don't know how many millions and millions of lifetimes we crossed. So, in all these lifetimes, we have put the negative seeds inside our heart. When now we are plowing the land, we are watering the land, we are putting the fertilizer, we are giving the sunlight to the land, what happens? Good plants are also coming. And the, and the weeds inside the soil also coming. This is exactly the same example with our heart. So we need to identify, you know, in the beginning we are taking out, take the weeds out. But the seeds are there inside. 
For that, we have to really work on our system. When such things comes out, comes there in your mind, you have to identify and say that, I want to go back home, back to God. So I pray to him. I pray sincerely to him to eliminate this, this bad feeling, this bad quality from me. From me. I will... So Krishna says that you have to love every living entity without envy. Without envy. Seeing that in every living entity, Krishna is there. Vidya vene sampanne brahmane kavyastine suni chaiva supakecha pandita samadarshana. So in every living entity, we see the Paramatma inside. We see them as, the, as they are also children of Krishna. So they are enjoying some things. That's because of their good karma. I am not getting that because of my own karma. So now, because this will displease Krishna, so now I am eliminating this from my system. Because Krishna won't like it. We, we have envy here. Some people, they are very good to God, Krishna. But you know, when they come and talk, you know, they are having this, you know, they are having that, you know, like that they keep on speaking. What is the use of going to temple, going to Mangalarti, chanting the holy name? And some they pass even Bhakti Sastri, Bhakti Vaiba, this, that, but still they see, I am the great. You should not get any advancement. That is not the mood of Vaishnavas. Vaishnavas mood is, you are all very good. I am very bad. This is the mood of Vaishnava. So, one more example of how uh, envy and non-envy people. So, there was a, uh, this Duryodhana's party, Gauravas and Pandavas, they were studying under uh, Dronacharya. So, Dronacharya asked one question to Duryodhana. Uh, go and find any bad person in this world. Duryodhana said, they accept me, everybody is bad. Nice, no? Accept me, everybody is bad. Most of us are in the same mind, mindset. Because within our heart, we keep on criticize, keep on finding fault with everyone. Out of envy. So, accept, he says, accept me, everyone is bad. Then when uh, Dronacharya asked the same question to Yudhishtha, he said, except me, everyone is good. I am the one who has this so much in, uh, envy, so much bad qualities in me. My Gurudev, all are good. They have this good quality. He is finding out good quality from each and every one. Yudhishtha Mara said, you are the non-envious person. If somebody is a non-invest, nir matsaram, to them, the, the message of Bhagavatam is revealed. Who can read Bhagavatam? Who can chant the holy name of the Lord? Once one whose heart is pure, without any envy, they can understand Bhagavatam. So, by thinking of the higher, higher benefits, we remove this weed from our heart when it appears. This class should be practical. You should apply in your life. You should every day monitor your thinking pattern. You should monitor your behavior. Before going to sleep, you have to just make a fast forward quickly. Think what you did in the whole day. Quickly, have you ever come across with such envious act or envious thinking? Then remove that from your mind. Understand how the world is working. Then go to sleep peacefully. Okay. Now, now asking you now if you have any doubts, any questions, any comments. We will. 
i will tell you on a story next week uh to this week no time so next week we'll some bhagavatam story of two friends who became enemies later because of this so anyone has doubts or clarification you understood how we can remove the envy from our heart can anyone briefly describe Huh? Have you understood something from this? How we can do? Again, you can. Jai Janaki, yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna, Mataji, Pranam. Pranam. Uh, yes, Mataji. This really is a very helpful class, Mataji. Hmm. Actually, sometimes we think that once we become devotees, we think that we don't have any bad qualities. We are reading Prabhupada books, we are chanting, we are going for Mangalarti. But we don't know in our heart, there are a lot of anarthas. So we should overcome from that. Many, so many, many, many only, life uh, changes. This lifetime we became devotee. We are uh, accumulating yes. so much kachadas inside our weeds, in our heart. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and uh, for me, only one solution for this is just reading Prabhupada books, sincerely focusing on that will definitely uh, make us non enemies Correct. So that is the only, because that is right. reading only. This is my realization. Yes, yes. Without understanding uh, Krishna philosophy. That's by Prabhupada's books only we can do that. Understanding Krishna consciousness removes our envy from our heart. Mm. Along with our daily sadhana, chanting is very important. Chanting sincerely uh, reveals that e even if we are wrong, we uh, that is coming out, okay? We do this mistake, please don't do this mistake. And that Krishna will help us to identify our negativities. Yes. Very nice. Anybody else? Are any comments? Question? Any question? Any other sastric thing you remember? You can share here. Yes, Mataji. Uh, Mataji, I heard in Guru Maharaj's lecture hmm. that uh, if we are envious of a person, we can overcome that envy by serving that person and saying some words of praise for that person. Like These are the two ways. Very nice. Okay. And uh, Mataji, as you discussed, this is a very like important topic, and uh, we are also like discussing in our like young girls class that uh, the Lord killed the demons in the Vrindavan, so those demons are present in our heart also as anartha. So this is very important topic. So we are like discussing these things only these days. Very nice, very nice. And by your mercy, we can like better apply these things. So it is really helpful. Thank you, Mataji. Thank you. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Uh, Mataji, one more thing. Uh, after uh, Ruchira Mataji has said, uh, mm -hmm. this they used to follow in Nandagram Gurukula, oh. even in our home also. Mm -hmm. When one boy is uh, envious to another boy, the teacher used to make them sit and in front of everyone, that boy should glorify him and he has to tell his good qualities. Mm -hmm. So that that envious will go out. Now my Prabhu also does the same thing. When my both children fights, then mm -hmm. he'll tell just sit and glorify what good qualities you see in her or her or him. Mm -hmm. So that you have to tell. Then it will go off. This is what they used to do. Very nice. very nice. Yeah, we have to glorify them, and we have to think of their good qualities. Then you know this envy go out. Okay, dear girls, so uh, next week I will come up with that story, suspense, yeah? That story, girls, two girls, two young girls, story. We will come up with that story. Then see you next week. 
वाचकल कृपा सिंधु पति दानो भाव ने प्यो वैष्णव प्यो नमो थैंक यू हरे कृष्णा